Hi everyone, welcome to another Drive With Care video. Today, in this video, I'm going to take us on a Roman road. <laughs> it's designated the B2068. It drives from Canterbury all the way down to the M20 Junction 11. Um, and it's called Stone Street. And I believe it could be the longest, no, not the longest, the straightest B road in England if not in Britain and of course being a Roman road why would it not be straight so what can I expect in terms of hazards well lots of junctions lots of vehicles creeping in and out um, keep my distance so that I can keep aware of what's happening on the road yellow and red squares to designate points of observation and or hazards so come along let's see what we can find it's another dreary day, so the windscreen wipers are going to be flashing across the screen, but you've got to anticipate those things, haven't you? So currently driving a 40 mile an hour zone. Because it's a B road, you would kind of anticipate not a lot of traffic using it, but actually it is a main thoroughfare for connecting Canterbury down to Folkestone, so it does get busy. I don't know why it's not an A road, to be quite honest, but it's a nice pleasant drive. Ten miles in length, so potentially ten minutes driving, well it would be ten minutes if we could do sixty miles an hour. <laughs> out to Canterbury into Lower Hardress. Lots of vineyards around here and orchards. So we've got a hidden junction up ahead. I can see a pedestrian in the road. Obviously planning to cross to his car. into a small village. Let's just keep aware that there might be vehicles coming out of drives. I'll let you know when we hit the long straight and then we'll see how far we can see into the distance. So still a 40 zone coming up to a staggered crossroads. speed limit applies. Certainly not a lot happening on these roads. Junction on the bend, and that's what this sign tells us. So the road bends to the left, but there is a junction. Nothing at that junction. So now starts Stone Street proper. It's more or less straight now till we get to Farthing Common. There might be a few little twisty sections, but certainly no bends in the road. by on the left, nothing in the lay-by. It's roads like this that you could quite easily lose your concentration because it's just straight, there's one car in front, but you could have an animal running out. There's a car coming out of the garden centre entering into a 50 zone. 
quite an uneven surface, so that could cause a hazard if you lose control. It's actually quite a narrow road. You can see why it is designated a, a B road. Junction on my left. Turning right, got staggered crossroads ahead. The road is actually clear in front of me now, which is great because national speed limit applies coming up. I can actually do 60 miles an hour now. I'm going to take us up to about 50, 55. Obviously, I'm, I've got to be aware that something could quite easily appear from a junction. But it's exciting. Put my foot down. There we go. We're doing 60 miles an hour. One car behind me, about a quarter of a mile behind me. The road is, the, the rain is coming down. I am just keeping aware of the road straight ahead. There's a horse box trailer type vehicle ahead, so I'll have to slow down when I get to it. it could give me an opportunity to do an overtake. I haven't done an overtake on one of my videos yet. Because this road is so straight and so long, it would be a perfect construction. Looks like it's a farm vehicle. I won't overtake if the road is, is not clear because it's such a straight road. Now there's a there's a crest on the hill so I can't see. So this is going to be an overtake maneuver on my drive with care. So I'm looking behind me. That car's still a long way off. Once I get past this crest of the hill, I'm creeping out to see if there's anything coming. Indicate, and away we go. Indicate back in. That was easy enough. Drop down to 50. Staggered crossroads. They've actually put some islands in here now to allow for filtering in. If you get stuck behind a slow-moving vehicle and there's a queue of traffic and you're, say, the, the next vehicle behind the slow-moving vehicle, it is your responsibility to overtake to ease the congestion if it's clear. You know, if all the, all the conditions are perfect for an overtake, then you should overtake. You shouldn't just sit behind a really slow-moving vehicle. And I got that from a policeman once, who was a passenger in my car, who got frustrated because we were about five or six in the queue and the car wasn't overtaking. Was low. So even policemen have road rage when they're just a passenger. Just a little anecdote there, a driving anecdote. Right, I'm, I'm down to 50. It's still a 60 zone, but... I'm quite conscious that there's quite a few hidden junctions around here. <coughs> Sign says, crossroads, uh, junction on the right. There it is. So it's a lovely straight road. A rainy autumnal Saturday drive. Makes me want to get home and put some tomato soup on with a, a crusty roll. <laughs> I can just taste it now. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And we've got some kind of junction and crossroads coming up. Cars turning. A little community garage stroke convenience store. How are we doing? About 10 minutes are we in yet? 
I don't like making the videos longer than they have to be, but I want to do the complete stretch, so... Ooh, big paddles, could aquaplane. Whoa, and I felt that, it pulled me to the left there. Through a nice... Look at these colours! <laughs> Taking you on a road trip with trees and colours. It's obviously a woodland and you can go walking there. Wonderful. Yeah, look at this. Magical woodland drive. There's quite a few puddles around. Could cause a bit of dragging to the left if you drive through them. Right, we'll hit Farthing Common, we'll take the road that goes down, it looks like the Swiss Alps, it's really quite nice, a bit windy, and then we'll conclude the video. Sometimes it's nice doing these videos just to get out and see the scenery, you know? Still a 50 zone. Got a VW Golf with black grill, black badge. Obviously a, a youth. It's come tearing up behind me. So my concern is, is he going to try and overtake? And if he does, will it be safe? And will I need to react? So I think we've missed, uh, we've come out of the long straight section of Stone Street, back into normal windy country lanes. Road narrows ahead and a bend to the left. Because the road narrows we've had a lot of puddles along this route. I have to be conscious that if the road is blind and it's a blind bend will I suddenly hit a puddle and there's a car. I'm thinking all these things ahead. The car in front is slowing down to 30. So quite apart from frustrating me, <laughs> I still have to be aware. Oh, the road is getting mucky now. More puddles. Quite a few hazards, you know, in terms of puddles. Especially when it can pull you. Entering a 30, 40 zone. Now at Farthing Common. Lovely woodland area here where you can go for walks and a big view across the the downs. I did a photo shoot here once, video up here. If you want to see what it looks like from that angle. Because of course I can't turn the camera, I can't show you, I'm the only one in the car. Bends ahead and a decline in the road of 10%. Nearly at the end of the video, are you bearing with me? He's running his brakes. Probably not a bad thing to do. Road is wet. And of course road is now bends in the road. Oh, isn't this magical? I like roads like this. Can't believe my ears have just popped. <laughs> How high were we? North Downs, three or four hundred feet above sea level. Not that high. And that's it. There's only Stanford North just down the road here. So I think we'll wind the video up. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with. Maybe you got something out of it. Drop me a comment if you um, saw any hazards I didn't. Or if you just came along for the ride, give the video a like. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care.